Good morning. Does God reward Christian character? Let's take a look and see what we find out here. Our reading is Jeremiah chapter 35, verses 17 to 19. The last part of this chapter in the Rechabites. Therefore, thus says the Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring on Judah and on all the inhabitants of Jerusalem all the doom that I have pronounced against them. Because I have spoken to them, but they have not heard, and I have called to them, but they have not answered. And Jeremiah said to the house of the Rechabites, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Because you have obeyed the commandment of Jonadab your father, and kept all his precepts, and done according to all that he commanded you, therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Jonadab the son of Rechab shall not lack a man to stand before me forever. This entire chapter is focused on one story, the faithfulness of the sons of Rechab. Their ancestor Jonadab had commanded them not to drink wine and a few other things. They had been faithful to that for over 200 years. And God is making a simple contrast between their faithful obedience to the command of a mere human compared to the kingdom of Judah and their total disobedience, disregard for the commands of God. Although he sent his prophets for century after century and pled with them through all the different parts of the nation, the different institutions, the priests, the prophets, the leadership, and yet they wouldn't hear and they rebelled against him and went the wrong way and served foreign gods. Because they've been unfaithful to the command of God, now all the judgments that God has said would come, now they will come. But here's an interesting bit. God pronounces a blessing on the Rechabites. Because of their faithfulness to that commandment of their ancestor, Jonadab, they will never lack a person to stand before the God of heaven. Some have supposed that character doesn't really matter. What matters is just Jesus' death for us on the cross. Without Jesus' death for us on the cross, of course, nothing else really would matter. And yet, Jesus himself taught, he that is faithful and least is also faithful and much. Jesus' death for us on the cross makes atonement for our sins when we accept that death and when we repent. We cannot repent without God's help, so there's really no merit for us when we do that. It's all of God. But God's forgiveness is always more than some sort of a mechanical thing. It's, it's always much more than that. God's forgiveness transforms us. It, it actually changes our hearts. Somebody once said that sin is its own punishment because, of course, one sin leads to another sin, and sin always brings more and more suffering and more and more sin. You know, what's interesting is that right doing is the same way. A little bit of righteousness will lead to a little bit more righteousness, and more right doing comes along. Why is this? Is there some kind of magic going on? No, this is just the way that character works. God is pleased and glad to build us and, and help us draw close to the kingdom. Doing right in God's power builds character. The more good we do, the more inclined we are to do good. And that's a very good thing. Bad character is reversible as long as we're willing to turn to Jesus and receive his help to do good. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, Christian character matters. That's the message you tell us when you say that you're blessing the Rechabites for their faithfulness to you. Lord, help us to be right. Help us to uh, not think that this is some strange drama that we're just playing a role and it's all going to happen whether we do anything or not. Lord, help us instead to be fully surrendered to you, fully on your team, ready to answer and respond and do what you'd have us to do as your servants. And we know that you'd have us to do right, do right all the time. So bless us, Lord, with this blessing. This is something that we ask, Lord, it would give us great pleasure just as it will give you great pleasure if you will help us so that self will be subdued and we will do right because we love doing right. Put it in our heart, Lord, to hate sin and to love doing right. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, the Rechabites are living proof that to he who has, more will be given. Friend, take whatever small bit of Christianity you have and use it, and more will be given. God be with you today.